Hey there, it's Anonymous T, where we spill the tea anonymously. Hello, 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 everyone. Hello, YouTubers. Hope you guys are all having an amazing day today, sending good vibes, sending positivity, sending blessings, and good energy to each and every single one of you. Thank you so much for tuning in. So today, we are talking Love and Mary Tunsville. You guys know why you're here. Today, we're talking because we finally have a confirmed alleged suspect in Stormy Steel, you guys, uh, who is alleged to have been the person who was thinking that they were texting and having a key key about Mel uh, to who they thought they were allegedly speaking with as it pertained to Martel's 10 year mistress, you guys. And, and so a couple of things, because you guys know I'm always going to keep it a buck with y'all. I'm always going to keep it real. If there's something I'm wrong about, I'm going to own it, right? And, you know, it was a lot of speculation. So, you know, there, there was various reasons as to why I originally thought it was Martel's side chick because when I first heard the audio, and I don't know if it was, you know, because maybe it was dubbed over or played over, played at a certain speed or whatever, that it kind of altered, you know, the voice or the sound or whatever, because the sound sounded a little bit different when Mel played it this time around, but it sounded like Martel's side chick, especially that giggle. It, it was like clear as day. I was like, oh, that, this is her. This is her. You know, she doesn't have this phone anymore. You know, she's doing this as a distraction for the case. Um, they had the case the next day, um, their court date or whatever. I'm like, she's just playing games. She's just playing on the phone or whatever. But um, but I did mention, though, with the Mississippi uh, area code that it was likely uh, coming from Stormy, but it would be something, too, that, like I said, I wouldn't be surprised if, you know, Martel wanted to plant that as well. Uh, to push that narrative. So I guess what happened, Mel was offering like a $2,000 reward, I believe, for anybody that could provide concrete proof and concrete receipts that, in fact, you know, whoever it was that they suspected uh, on this, you know, um, for her to utilize for her red phone receipts that, uh, you know, she would bring it to the forefront. So she did a TikTok live the other day and basically she confirmed that it was stormy but she confirmed it was stormy because i guess whoever you know did their own investigative work uh there was a video of stormy and courtney and stormy um receiving flowers from courtney from somewhere outside or whatever and i guess they're i guess this is supposed to indicate either they've sent footage and things before to this phone number or there's been some additional investigation to where they were able to confirm that this in fact was a phone number that allegedly belongs to Stormy but um to be honest with you you guys I'm honestly just so disgusted with it all I'm so disgusted with it all because it's like how old are we that we are resorting to this childish level of behavior, right? Like even kindergartners, you guys are more mature than this. Like we get it, these people, you know, for whatever reason, they don't like Mel. And, and most of it really has nothing to do with anything other than they cannot get the attention that they want from Mel anymore. They can't get the access to Mel that they want anymore. So therefore, there's nothing else for them to do but hate, 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 right? And that's, it's, it's really the same thing across the board. Once people realize Mel was the brains, Mel was the connect, Mel was the mover and shaker, Mel was the one responsible for all of the success of the Holtz and, and all of these things. And the cast wanted a piece of it. The cast wanted a piece of that 40 acres deal. They wanted a piece of the comeback group. They wanted all of these things and didn't want to put forth any work. Just like Martel. Uh, he was fine being the charismatic face of anything. Uh, but Mel was doing all of the legwork. And that's what the cast wanted. And when Mel told them, no, 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 no. You got to get off your butt. You've got to find a way uh, to stay on this show and stop using my name and using my pain and my trauma uh, to get a check. And that's when all H-E-double-O broke loose. But what is weird is the ongoing... And guess who's best friends now? None other than Stormy and Destiny. So, so that's the other piece to this, right? 
Because the rumor was that Stormy, in, in whatever capacity, knew of or ended up knowing Martell's mistress and made it a point to confirm to her that she was going to come on the show basically and wreck havoc and basically just whack Mel at every point in time. So it was never genuine, even on Stormy's first season, because she had an agenda to play nice initially and then she was going to go completely rogue. And now that all of her behavior has backfired, now this big lawsuit is a huge cloud over her business. Now she allegedly wants to back out from the show. No, 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 no. You know what you signed up for. You already had millions in sales, so it's not like you needed the show to do any pr further promoting or further branding. You were not good enough to be on Bell Collective. And so you packed up your family and thought, okay, I can maybe get on Love and Marriage Huntsville and, and all these things. And, and it's embarrassing. It, it's truly embarrassing, Stormy. But, you know, to utilize this to play on a miner's phone like this, it, it's just, it's low down. It, it, it's just low down, you guys. There, there's no other way to slice and dice it. Because either you know at this point, Stormy, that Martell Sidechick has a new line with Cricket Wireless, or you don't. But nonetheless, I refuse to believe that you, you just forgot or that you didn't know that this was Tank's phone and Tank's phone number. No, 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 no. I, you cannot convince me of that. You knew exactly what you were doing because you needed to be in the news. You needed somebody to talk about you because you were sick of all the talk of Destiny and her million podcasts. So you felt you had to do something grimy to get yourself in the news and it backfired. It absolutely backfired. See, all of you guys that talk all this mess... But then you get on platforms and want to project and want to blame other people and want to make other people the issue. No, 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 no. Usually the people who are, are trying to pretend like they have no idea what's taking place are usually the people who know exactly what is taking place. But the issue I have is you guys flat out won't just own your two-faced and messy and fake behavior. If you don't like Mel, just say that. But this ongoing nonsense where people are using their mama's mouthpieces and they're not even on the show anymore, where the cast is too afraid to just tell Mel to her face how they feel, they have to hide behind text messages and questionable numbers and, and all of these things. If you have to do all of that, then maybe you need to reassess if you really do hate Mel as much as you think you do. Or if you're jealous and you feel a way that she's cut you out of her life permanently. But this isn't it. This is completely embarrassing, you guys. Um, and it's disgusting because it's like, what was the end game? What if Tank had that phone and was going back and forth, you know, with Stormy, with the bashing of his mother? There's no decorum. There's no sense. You know Martell's a squatter. You don't think that they're squatting out, you know, and swapping out different phones every location too? Make it make sense. But um, I just wasn't pleased with this because I just felt like, how old are we? And why all of the childish games, why all of the immature games, why all of the amateur hour behavior, you guys? What does Stormy think is going to happen for her? Gossiping with the unemployed, you guys? No, 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 no. I thought you had real friends, Stormy. So that right off the bat should tell you your ambitions are not where they need to be. But nonetheless, uh, there is that. Let me know your guys' thoughts in the comments. Please do not forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Hit the notification bell so you're notified the moment I post new content on my channel. And with that being said, I'll talk to you guys again very soon.